एम टी फोर जीरो फाइव मल्टी कॉम्पोनेंट डिस्टिलेशन एम ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट टू परफॉर्म मल्टी कॉम्पोनेंट और एक्सट्रैक्टिव डिस्टिलेशन इन लेबोरेटरी स्केल पैक डिस्टिलेशन कॉलम टू प्रिपेयर द एक्सपेरिमेंटल रिजल्ट विद दैट ओपटेन बाई सिमुलेशन थियोरी डिस्टिलेशन इज द मोस्ट वाइडली यूज सेपरेशन टेक्निक इन द केमिकल एंड पेट्रोलियम इंडस्ट्री हाउ not all liquid mixtures can be separated by the ordinary distillation the mixtures with very low relative volatility are difficult to separate so we employ various techniques for separation extractive distillation is one of them extractive distillation is defined as distillation in the presence of a miscible highly boiling relatively non volatile component the solvent that forms no azeotropes with the other components in the mixture It is widely used in the chemical and petrochemical industries for separating azeotropic, close boiling and other low relative volatility mixtures. Extractive distillation works because the solvent is specially chosen to interact differently with the components of the original mixture thereby altering their relative volatilities. In the extractive column, the component having the greater volatility, not necessarily the component having the lowest boiling point. is taken overhead as a relatively pure distillate the other component leaves with the solvent via the column bottoms the solvent is separated from the remaining components in a second distillation column and then recycled back to the first column experimental setup the present multi component vapor liquid equilibrium system is comprised of methanol acetone water methanol and acetone are fairly close boiling acetone boiling point 56.2 degree celsius methanol boiling point 64.7 degree celsius in addition methanol and acetone forms a minimum boiling azeotrope in the present experiment water is added in order to break the azeotrope and the objective of the experiment is to demonstrate that the presence of water alters the relative volatility between methanol and acetone and allows the vapor phase to become enriched in acetone in comparison with methanol in our lab 2.5 meter tall distillation column of inside diameter 54 mm that operates at atmospheric pressure is used the rectifying and stripping sections are packed with evergreen high flux packing made out of fine metallic wires the reboiler of capacity 4 liter is externally heated with the help of heaters start heating after ensuring that there is sufficient liquid hold up in the reboiler kettle This is a feed container, okay, in which we have a certain feed mixture of methanol, ethanol, and isopropanol. Okay, so on the preparation term, you need to calculate the feed composition from this feed mixture by taking sample from here. Okay, this is this is open it, take the sample, go to the for GSC analysis, calculate the feed composition from the with the help of gas chromatograph. Okay, so this is the feed pump. So which we fill the reboiler. That one is the reboiler. This is the feed which is under the pipe through which feed is goes. Okay. So here it is connected to this pipe. Okay. And this is the line which is goes to the feed at the middle. Yes. Okay. Here you can adjust the feed rate of feed pump. Okay. So here you can adjust. From 70 between 70 to 80 milliliter per minute. Now right now it is 65, 68. Okay, you can say between 70 to 80 milliliter per minute. This is the feed pump. So feed is start flowing and the boiler starts to <coughs> the hold up. Okay. Yes. Ha. अभी हमने ये फीड रेट स्टार्ट किया दिस इज स्टार्ट बटन एंड दिस इज सेट बटन ओके नाउ कलेक्ट द फीड सैंपल फ्रॉम हियर ओपन दिस वॉल्व स्लोली एंड कलेक्ट द फीड सैंपल फ्रॉम हियर ओके दिस इज माय फीड सैंपल द कंडेंसेड लेवल शुड बी एट लीस्ट 50 इवन टू स्टार्ट अप विद वेरी स्मॉल फॉर द फ्लक्स रेट टू ओके क्लोज द स्टेट एंड दिस वन इज ओपन टू ओपन द डॉग स्लाइड Slightly slide it here, okay, and then open it slowly. Otherwise, the float get stuck at the top. Okay, so now it is in open state. You see that here, this uh, ball float is move up and down by opening it. 
circle slowly, open it slowly, otherwise the float get stuck. Okay, and you face some problem. And now this is again in closed state, and now it is locked. Okay. Now wait was steady state to bring in thermodynamic equilibrium. Okay, for that you have to watch the these temp digital temperatures. Okay. So they should be uh, constant with respect to time. Once the steady state is ensured under total reflux, now you need to switch the column in continuous mode. For that you start feed and product removal. Okay. So for to start feed, again this is the feed flow rate. So slightly open the valve of feed flow rate and uh, you have already your reflux rate value from expense simulations. Then open it slowly. I adjust the reflux rate by seeing this uh, position of the float. Okay. And then open it the distillate rate slowly. To the given value. For the, this value is already provided, provided on the preparation terms. Okay. So now the column is in continuous mode. Then again you have to wait for steady state. Okay. Plus. Okay. Now wait for steady state to bring in thermodynamic equilibrium. Okay, for that you have to watch the these temp digital temperatures. Okay, so they should be uh, constant with respect to time. Once the steady state is ensured, your column startup part is okay. over. Okay, now so you have to collect the sample from this lake from here. Lightly open the wall, take the sample around 2 milliliters or half the water. Okay. Then close it properly. Okay. This is our distillate sample. Okay. Let me start. Hmm. Now we have to collect the sample from three zones. This is the withdrawal point from first zone. Just make sure that the lock is open and move slowly. Now the sample is collected here and close it. Make sure that here you have to take precaution because the sample may be hot here. Okay. Once the column, once the steady state is ensured in continuous mode, you need to withdraw samples from the six locations. Okay. So uh, one of the location is the distillate rate location. From here, slightly open this wall and uh, brought your the, the bottle here to collect the sample okay so this is the distillate uh, collect, collection point okay right. after ensuring certain uh, level of condensate in the uh, in that uh, condenser you can start the reflux to make it under total reflux you can take uh, any value say this time it is one or two liter per hour depending upon the condensate level you open it now the column is in total reflux total reflux doesn't mean that you open it fully okay you have to give some reflux to give the pro to have the proper vapor and liquid contact okay now we have to take the sample from the zone locations the first zone the second zone and the third zone so this is the point where we can collect Open the lock and move it slowly. Okay.